Hi guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating my August currently page. I love doing these currently page videos, so if you'd like to see what I do this month, keep watching. Okay, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I love putting plants in my planner. You guys, I can't stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you don't like plants or something, or if you're sick of seeing me put plants in planners. It's almost hard to say, but I'm going to keep doing it because I love it. So I have the new Plant Mama sticker book. So of course I'm going to use this. And it's just super cute. I think I'm going to be covering these up because this bright color really isn't going to match the vibe of this book. Um, and I think this time I'm going to cover up these sprinkles at the top. They're super cute, but I don't really need them in this spread. And I have something else in mind at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some uh, sticker paper. Actually, I'm going to grab label paper. This is sticker paper and it's like see-through kind of. You can see. Um, but I'm going to grab label paper because label paper has a special backing. Sorry, I'm just rifling through. So this is label paper and you can tell the difference. Like you can't see through it because it has like this gray area behind it. So I'm going to use that. And I'll link that for you if you are new to my channel and you have not gotten label paper yet. It's actually really, really handy. So this is already cut. So I'm going to use this. And it's not going to fit all the way across, but um, I'll have to add a little bit to it, which is fine. And yes, you are going to see a line there, and that does bother some people. But for me, if I have a specific like design in mind, or I really want to cover up something on my page, this really does the job pretty nicely. And I try to make like the transition as smooth and as straight as I can so that it's not too noticeable. So it's all like what you prefer. You know, if you're, if that bothers you, then don't do it. <laughs> you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You can do whatever you want in your planner. Just gonna add a little bit to that there. And now I have that little hole there and I have this handy dandy tool called a Crocodile Punch. This thing is awesome. This is amazing. There's my Philadelphia spread. <laughs> this is amazing because you don't need to take the big Happy Planner punch out. I do use the big punch sometimes, like if I cover up all of the, or, or most of them, of the holes. But if I just have one or two, like it's so easy to just take this and line up that hole and punch out that one and now we're done. So we don't have to worry about that. So I'll link this in the description box. It is one of the best purchases, probably the best purchase I've made this year. So I love that thing. Okay. So plants, plants. Well, I got, I just got this in the mail recently and just looking through it, it's so cute. And it does look a little bit similar to some of the other sticker books we've seen with the plants, but it's also got a lot of new stuff in it too. I was looking through this. I'm going to be using these little squares because I think they're really pretty. Like the colors. Those are, that's what I'm going to do like my currently section in. I'm going to have to write pretty small, but I really like those. But I think the first thing I'm going to do here is take like a, a double box sticker, one of those decorative ones, and cover up this down here because I, like I said, I don't really want that there. I'm leaning towards this one just because I really like the blue. And there is blue here, so I think that makes sense. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so we are gonna see around the outside. So what do I do about that? Well, I could cover up with label paper. Um, is there any of this teal in there? I feel like it would be nice to leave it there, but I don't think it's gonna match. It's not gonna match. Okay, so let's do that. Let's take more label paper. I might need a different piece, so this one might work. This is gonna work. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut a piece that will sort of fit this, place it on. 
And that'll give us like a clean area where we can put down one of those box stickers. And we don't have to do that now since I covered it, but I kind of want to, so I'm going to. So let me put this down here. It's really cute. And maybe I'll do like a little frame for it or something. Actually, how about, where's my pen? I'm just gonna do this. I'll do like a little dotted line around it for fun. You can always do that. You can like emphasize your box stickers in a certain way, you know, dotted lines or like little circles or just like a line around it or a couple of lines, a double line, whatever you want to do. Sometimes if they're by themselves on the page, it makes it a little more fun to do that. You can also do like a washi tape line around it or whatever. I'm just going to do that. So the idea I had for the top of the page is to take some of these plants, I don't have a lot left because I've used a lot of these, and bring them down from the top. So I might just use these months, are they called monstera leaves? Something like that at the top because I have a bunch of those. So that kind of makes sense to me. But I also thought about turning these plants upside down, sort of bringing in some of the leaves. So. I don't know, this one's really big. Let's see what I can do with this. I might, all right, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. So we have a couple like, so when you put things at the top of your page, sometimes I feel like they look better if you don't do like the same size. Now it's a personal preference because once in a while I do do the same size, but Sometimes if you vary it like that, it just looks a little more interesting, especially if you have like the same sticker. I like, I like it better. So if this was the same size as this one, what you could do is lift this one up a little bit and bring it like up off the page and lift and put this one down a little bit so that they look like they're different um, lengths. Do you know what I mean? I think I'm gonna to continue to use these leaves. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of having some other leaves in here, but it also kind of looks like an upside down plant at this point. So I don't know if I really want that. So let's continue with this, I guess. And I have more of them too. So this here is a little bit different from that. So it's gonna bring in just a sort of a different look as well. I could bring this down, but I think I want to take this one off the page at the top, so. I'm gonna continue with that. And we are gonna cover that up with something. I don't know what yet. And then I'm gonna take this one and this is a little bit smaller. Actually, it's the same size as that probably, but I'm gonna bring this and I'm gonna switch it. Maybe I want a bigger one actually. So maybe I want this one that's this size and sort of turn it a little bit so it's different from that and it's different from these just for a different sort of look there. Okay. So let's cut these off. Okay, now we have two holes there and I'm gonna go ahead and um, punch those out again with this punch. I could have just waited, but I didn't realize I was going to do that. Okay, so I need to flip it. All right, there we go. So that's ready to go right into our planner or my planner, whoever's planner it is. Okay, obviously that we I do like these colors together, but there's nothing in the book, so we're going to cover it up. Oh, not in that book. Sorry. And I'm, I'm going to leave this book out though. I may use like a couple of these down here. Actually, maybe I should right now. It's sort of going to sort of balance that out, but I don't know if I have that many left. I do have another sticker book. If I took this one and sort of, sort of covered that a little for interest, that might be in, like nice, interesting. I don't know. And I could use another one on this side, but I don't know if I will or not. Look, I have this little guy. Put this down here. I don't want to cover up that Harvest Joy though. 
Let's put that there. Okay. Let's look in this book here. So, all right, I'm going to cover that up, but before I do that, let's put that down those squares that I was talking about, those little tiny boxes. I think they're really cute. And we're going to write currently up here. I'm trying to decide, should I use like a specific color or just black? Um, I have this Tombow sitting here. Let me see if this would work. I need a piece of scrap paper. Sometimes hard to come by, which is ridiculous. I'm going to use a daily sheet here. I've got a ton of them. I mean, that's pretty good. And you know I love yellow. And look, there's that yellow. Okay. I really didn't plan that. I did have this Tombow sitting there from... Um, I was doing something in my journal with it, I think. Okay, so I'm going to write currently here. And I'm just going to wing it. I'm not going to measure out anything. I'm just going to wing it because it's fun to wing it sometimes, you guys. So currently, I'm going to do sort of in big letters here. And I am going to outline those in black so that it will pop a little bit. It is going to go off into that. So I did not <laughs> anticipate that. But it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. We'll make it work. We will make it work currently. All right, so it goes off into this area. Let's think about that for a minute. What we can do is just take the boxes across into this area. Does it really matter? I don't think it does. Let's do it. I'm going to bring these down a little so I'll have space to put what what it is at the top and I know I'm gonna have to write small it's all right so we're gonna do I guess like three of these across I think I want to wait on the yellow and put that in the next row maybe the blue no we'll do this tan Whoops. I'll line it up right a little bit with that. Okay. Is that lower? Yes, a little bit. So if you make a mistake, all you have to do is work with it. Work with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. One, two, three. Four. Let's bring it down to here. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Actually, let's bring it up a little. I think I'm going to have three rows of these. I'm going to do a lot of current lease this month. Um, how about that? Put this here. I didn't really want to put green under green, and I didn't really want to put blue under green. Because you want to sort of vary the colors as much as you can. So that's sort of what I'm trying to do here. Okay. Now I'm going to put a green. So there's three blocks here between, so I'm going to count three down here. And a little bit more because this is a little bit more, if that makes sense. Excuse me. Just slightly. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking. How about a blue? And then a yellow. Now I go to come up with a whole bunch of currently prompts, but we'll figure that out in a minute. So now I'm going to take a Muji 0.38 and I'm going to outline currently. And you're going to see how it will make the letters pop. I love doing this. I love outlining letters. It's so fun to see the change in the letter as you go. See? Just makes it more a little more fun in my opinion. But you do you, you know. You figure out what works for you and what you like. And put that in your planner. 
I've been into this lately. I wasn't always, but this is kind of new to me in the last six months or so doing these, this outline thing. And I just think it's really cute. So that's what I'm currently doing. Now my style changes all the time. I'm always changing up my style and I don't do it on purpose. I'm not like sitting around thinking to myself, I really should change my style. What's happening is it's evolving over time and it may change and then it may go back to what it was or it may go to something different. It just depends. Um, when I started planning, I used a lot of wide washi tape and then I stopped using wide washi tape for probably like a year and I used skinny only, like the super skinny one. Now I'm back to using wide washi tape again, but I'm using it a little bit differently and I'm not using skinny hardly at all. And, you know, I might go back to using skinny at some point. So it just really depends. So see how that makes it pop? I think that's super fun. So let's um, put in some prompts here. So I'm gonna make these up on the fly, you guys, making it up on the fly. So I'm gonna do reading. Watching. And I don't know how I'm going to answer these yet, but I'll figure it out. Eating. Drinking. Planning. Um, celebrating. Hoping. Let's think what other ones are there. Um, eating, drinking, watching, reading, planning. Ah, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> drawing a blank. Um, I know there's a ton more. All right, I'll think about it. I could go back and look at my older currently pages. I'm sure it'll pop out and I'll go, oh yeah, why didn't I put that? But it's just not coming to me currently. All right, so let's think what we're going to cover up that notes with. Already this is so cute, don't you think? I think it's super, super cute. Plants are my soil mates. I could put that up there. That's really cute. And it's the right size. It's kind of a weird saying, but let's see. So a lot of this book is for like people who are into plants and who grow, you know, and gardening and who take care of plants. I get that. Um, I don't because I kill them. So I put them in my planner. Plants are friends. I might put that up there, even though that leaf is the same as those leaves. So I'm not sure. A little dirt never hurt. I'm thinking I'm going to bring this in because I am going to bring in more brown in these other stickers. So let's do that. And I don't know, is this going to cover this exactly? It might. Ooh, that's pretty close. So there's a little bit up at the top there of that line. I'm gonna leave that there. I'm okay with that. All right. So I am gonna use probably a decorative sticker up here somewhere, maybe a couple of them. And then down here, usually on my currently page, I'll also put like goals of the month or priorities of the month or something like that. Sometimes I'll do memories from the month, but I'm gonna put, so I'll put some of that down there, but I'm thinking, oh, I didn't see that page. Oh, cute. I could put another big one up there. Would it fit? I mean, it's like pushing it. I could though. That says plant dreams and grow a happy life. I think that's really cute. I'm gonna put it up here and it kind of pulls in some of the blue. And it's going to fill like that little space there that I kind of didn't know what to do with. Okay. So let's keep going here. Now I don't know. I was going to do two 
decorative box stickers and layer them. But now I'm thinking, what if we did this? I could have two of these for different things. I could have one for goals of the month. I could have one for something else. So let's put two of these down. I don't know that I like that it goes off in like past there. Can I put it closer? Then it's gonna touch this other one. I don't usually butt stickers up right next to each other like that, but I think that's actually a really fun look, so I'm gonna keep going with it. Um, so here, I'm gonna write little headings for what these are. And uh, do I want to do like the same color as this? I want to put my self-care goal somewhere. So every um, every month I have like a self-care goal of this year. So I want to put this in somewhere. So maybe I'll put that here because it's smaller. And I'm going to run out of room. I was going to do self-care at the top. And now I'm not. It's okay. Self-care. Bumble saying hi. Goal. All right, well, I'm just gonna do that in big letters and the, and the goal in small letters. <laughs> it's okay. It's not what I had planned, but it is what it is, you guys. So now I'm gonna use this pen like so. Oh, Bumble. I'm gonna turn off the camera while I do this for a sec. Okay, Bumble has joined the chat. Say hi to my baby. She needs a haircut badly. She's getting one next week. Here, are you gonna are you gonna make ASMR bumble? Come on, do it. Talk to them. Alright, she's not doing it. I put her near the microphone, but it didn't work out. Anyway, hey guys, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be bothering my mom and throwing the ball under the desk and whining when the camera's on. Then when the camera's shut off, I quiet and I go outside. That's how I do it. Yeah. All right. Enough shenanigans. So the self-care goal for this month, and I have a different one every month, and this month it is a bad one for me. No snacking after dinner. Yikes. Um, that's going to be really hard because I love to snack at night, so. But maybe I'll lose a little weight. Um, I'm putting it on a little bit this summer. I mean, not a lot, but enough that I'm like, I really better do something. So that might help. Okay, so there's that. I guess I'm going to continue with the yellow pen because I already did this. Um, so self-care goal. Um, this one, I'm going to write big things because there's a couple of fun things coming up in my family in August. So I'm just going to write that in there. Uh-oh, am I going to have enough room? I have to make it skinny. That's what I do when I start running out of room. I just make it skinnier and skinnier. Okay, Bumble, you can't bump me. You can't bump me while I'm outlining. That would be a mistake. That would be bad. We're not going to do that. She has like her chin on resting on my arm and I'm so nervous that she's going to like move and mess me up. So I'm just going to outline this first. And when you're outlining these, like seriously, it does not have to be perfect, especially if it's like a light color pen. It's going to look good no matter what. So this is definitely not perfect. I'm doing it with a dog in my lap and trying to see through my new progressive lenses and yada, yada, yada. Whoa, that G, man. That is not good. All right, so... Big things, and I'm gonna write this month in like a cursive. Um, so let's see. So my daughter Heather and her boyfriend Chris are moving to Germany. So that's the first one, Heather. I'm gonna miss her so much, but 
I'll get a Germany trip next summer or fall probably out of it. So that'll be fun. It'll be, um, it'll be so good to see her after that much time. I've never been without her for more than like a month in her whole life. So hmm. it'll be okay. It'll be okay. But the good news is that my, one of my other daughters, Kaylee and her husband have moved back from Missouri. She was, if you remember, if you were following along, Kaylee is a vet student or was a vet student. She just started her her, um, job as a new emergency veterinarian. And so, yeah, so they actually um, moved back here and they are going to be living in a house five minutes from me and they move into that in August. So super excited about that because finally, after years of having them not around, now they'll be around and... I've been loving it so far having her here. So, um, so Kaylee and Aaron, I'm just going to write new house. Okay. They're having a house built that, um, my ex-husband purchased and they're going to be renting it. So they're excited because it's brand new and yeah. Okay, so there's that. Let's go back to this section, hoping I could do dreaming. Um, I'm going to turn off the camera and go look at like some of my other currently pages because that will give me a hint on what to put here. Okay, I'm going to write listening to. And buying. And there's a lot of other ones that I saw that I could have done like feeling or working towards stuff like that, but these are good. Okay. So I'm going to fill this out on the fly. Typically what I do in these videos is write these out ahead of time so that I remember what I'm going to write just so I'm not sitting there going, um, um, um with you, but this time I might do, um, um, um with you. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> so I'm currently reading a Colleen Hoover book and let me think of the name of it. Oh no. <laughs> right, I'll come back to that. Yikes. Okay, I am watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia with my boyfriend. I actually love that show. It's hilarious and I used to watch it, but I I only got to maybe season 10 and I had I didn't go on. So right now we're on season 9, so I think it's almost to the part where I haven't seen it. So okay, eating. I am still really into the HelloFresh meals. I don't know if you saw my last, I think it was in my last Currently page video that I mentioned those. They are friggin' awesome. I feel like I'm a gourmet chef when I make these. No, they are not a sponsor. Yes, I do get a little bit of um, income from, not income, like a credit in my account if you use my link, but you also get a credit. And I forget right now how much it is, but it's a decent, decent sized um, amount of money you get towards the meals. So I'll, I'll link that in the description. They're really, really good. I'm not just saying that. I've also tried Home Chef and I like them too, but I've been using HelloFresh more lately and I'm really enjoying those. And I'm not kidding. Like some of them take a little bit of work, but I do those ones like on a weekend. And then the, uh, some of them are pretty easy, but you feel like a chef because there's so many like little ingredients that go into it, like little spices or like little sauces. And once it's all together, there's a lot of flavor in it. Like there's more flavor than like when I make a meal. So I'm really, really liking those a lot. Um, and, and it's reasonably priced. Like I'd say for three meals for two people, I think I pay like $60 or so which isn't bad at all, considering I was doing a lot of DoorDash, yes. And they're healthier, Um, there's, you know, they're balanced, so I really like those a lot. And I think if I purchased all like the separate ingredients, it would be a lot more because the ingredients they send are like little things, like they might send like a little red wine vinegar that's like this big. Well, if I'm buying all the stuff at the store, it's gonna cost me so much more, you know what I mean? Plus. The thing I like about it is I don't have to think about it. I just order the meals. They come and I'm like, oh, which which one should I make tonight? And I don't have to think, what am I going to make tonight? Because that's the worst part of cooking for me. So um, the cooking part, I don't mind. The deciding part, I hate. Mike seems to think it's a little bit cheating. <laughs> but 
I don't think so at all. Okay, so drinking, what am I drinking? Honestly, I'm just drinking what I always drink, but I have been drinking more iced coffees lately. Not so great, but I'm going to be honest about it. Um, so I've been doing drinking a lot of Dunkin' iced coffees. And when I go, Bumble gets a pup cup now. Like they started giving her pup cups. They like her at the drive through because <laughs> she's so cute. You know, she looks at them like, like, I want to, I want to say hi. I want to say hi. So they're like, would she like a pup cup? Last time they didn't even ask. They just gave, it's like a this tiny cup with whipped cream. Bumble loves it, but she sticks her whole head in the cup and she gets like full of whipped cream and then her face is all dirty. That's what it's like right now. But okay. Planning starting to plan our trip to Disney World. So Mike and I are going to Disney. We're doing an adult Disney trip, which I've never done in September. Really, really excited about that. It's my birthday week. So we're starting to plan that out. We already have our hotel and we have our um, park tickets, but we're starting to plan other stuff. So that's really exciting celebrating i'm going to say michael and kaylee's birthday so they are turning 27 which is unbelievable to me how is that possible i don't understand that i'm not old enough to have 27 year old kids but any apparently i am <laughs> so they're turning 27 okay hoping hmm let me come back to that so listening to i'm listening to um audible books so I'm currently listening to one called Red, White, and Royal Blue. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I, I used to use Audible all the time. And then I got out of it. And then I just re-downloaded it and like got, you know, the trial thing. So I think you get like two free books or something like that. Anyway, um, really like listening to audiobooks because it's, especially when I drive to Mike's house, it's like a half an hour each way. So I like to listen to books when I'm driving and yeah, I, I just finished another one, which, uh, people we meet on vacation. That was really, really good. So now I'm, I've started that other one. Okay. So buying, I'm buying equipment to film at Mike's house because I set up a little filming station there so that when I am at his, his house, I can also film because I found that um, if I was at his house, I couldn't stay a couple days because I had to go home and then sometimes I'd come back and, um, or he'd come here, but this way I can film in either place. And he had me set it up in his sunroom. So I've got like all these windows and a lot of light. So that's really exciting for me. So I bought like a bunch of stuff, like a, um, a C stand to an amount and like a ring light. And we bought some Ikea stuff. So yeah, so we're going to set that up tonight actually, but I'm still buying a couple of things for that. Let's go back to reading. I need to look this up. What was it? So it's Colleen Hoover. Let me look it up. Okay. It's called Heart Bones. And so far it's pretty good, but I haven't read it in a few weeks. So I'm, I better do that because I'm starting to like forget what happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Heartbones. I love Colleen Hoover books. They're always, always really, really good. There's not one that I haven't liked. I think my favorite one is probably Verity, but I really like her a lot. I also follow her on TikTok. I just found her on TikTok, so that's kind of cool. Um, hoping. So, I'm going to write, I'm hoping Benny, <laughs> you don't know who Benny is yet, gets along with my pets. So Benny is Kaylee and Aaron's cat. And since they're having that house built, they need somebody to watch Benny for right now. Um, Mike is actually watching Mimo, their other cat, but we don't want to put them together because they fight. And we're hoping that, and like Mimo can't get along with other cats really. And we were afraid to put Mimo here. That's why she's at Mike. Mike's house, but now Benny, the person who was watching him, ha has to get rid of him. So now he's coming here on Friday. And I'm really, really hoping they all get along because it's going to be a zoo. It's going to be four pets in here. And I, my house is like literally 1200 square feet and, um, it's real small. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. 
One thing I want to mention before I stop and before I finish this section here, and I don't have to put anything in there, but I want to, is that when I make these, okay, so for me, this is like I'm making this right now at the end of July. So it is currently July 26th that I'm filming this. And so when I'm filling these out, it's for the previous month. So I know, because I get this question a lot, so I thought I'd cover this. So I know when I'm looking at my currently pages, if I go back and look at my yearly currently pages, I know that this is actually mostly, you know, July, okay, end of July. So that's when I completed this. Now for you, and the reason I do that, the reason I do that is because you guys want to see currently pages for the next month before the next month starts or right when it starts. You don't necessarily want to see a currently page for um, August, you know, September 1st. However, if I were doing this and I wasn't on YouTube, probably what I would do is create this in um, July, the end of July, but then I'd write in it at the end of August. So, or in the middle of August, so that I, I would, this would be all my currently things for August. You can do it however you want. If, you know, it's best to be consistent with it so that you know later on when you fill this out. It's not crucial. It doesn't matter necessarily. Um, I just like to know ahead of time, like when I kind of filled this out. And for me, it's always the last week of the month before. So I just thought I'd let you know that's what I do. And you can do it like however you actually want to. But I always thought that you guys would want to see me also fill them out and not just put in the stickers. And that is why I do it the way I do it. Okay, so let's find something to fill this little area because I think it's like sort of a glaring blank area there. And I might find another one of these to put down here. But let's see. I could do a little circle thing. What if I did that? I kind of covered this here. I could also get more of these leaves and bring them up a little, but I don't know if I want to do that. If I put this here though, what would I write there? I could, I should have put my self goal, self care goal there. Um, all right, that's a thought, but I don't know that I have anything to write there. That's the problem. Let's see. I could do one of these little pictures. They're a little busy though. I could also leave it blank. I understand that. <laughs> I just, I, I'm somebody who likes to fill up areas like that. It's just how I do it. It's how I roll, you guys. It's how I roll. So I'm going to keep doing me. You keep doing you, okay? We'll both just be ourselves and it'll all be good. How about one of these? Or this one. Bloom from within. I feel like that's smaller than that other one. I kind of wanted to cover this corner. What if I did that and then something little down there? I don't need to, but I could. I could take one of these. Do like a little I don't know about yellow though. Maybe like a green. I think that's kind of cute. And now I think I want to get one of these. So let me look in my other um, Happy Bloom sticker book because like I said I have two of them and there's one that's really big though okay let's get like this one I guess I hate I hesitate to use these because at some point I'm going to want to do another spread with these but I'm going to use it anyway because I think it's fun then I have this little area down here that's like by itself but maybe I do this Or take another one. 
or I could take, I could do this and then take this part and put it over here somehow. Let's try that. So I will link all this in the description box um, so that you can like purchase anything you want. I always appreciate using my affiliate links, you guys. It's very, very much appreciated. I do see you. I see you using them. And I feel like I don't say thank you enough, but thank you. Like it makes a big difference to me for sure. I don't think this is going to work here. Oh, maybe. I just would rather not use like another sticker, you know, because I don't want to waste it. Not that it's wasting it to use it, but like I feel like I want to use it in another spread. So I'm going to just do this and I, you know, if I had like a bunch more of those stickers that I didn't want to use in a spread, I'd probably put another one there instead of this one because it looks a little weird, but I think I'm just going to go with it. Um, I could use that tiny one. Remember that tiny one? Let's see what that would look like to fill that little space. Not in that book. What am I doing? Although that was in the other book, wasn't it? I guess I used that one in that book. Um, let's see. What I do with the other book. Yikes. All right. You know what? I might do that off camera. I might look for that off camera. I don't feel like. Oh, wait. There it is. There it is. I've got a lot of books piled up over here as usual. This guy. Maybe it was in the other book and I just didn't look up there. Um, I could do that. I could sort of like cut around it to look like it's under there or I could just lift this one up and put it under there. That might be easier. Eh, but then that's the only one that's like that with this there. I could cut this part. Ugh. <laughs> Always a struggle. Perfectionism. So let me know what you guys think of this. I think it's really cute. I'm really digging it. Cut me because I love plants. I know it feels a little odd that there's nothing in this corner, but I, I, just, I don't think that's like such a big deal. So I'm just going to run with that as is. I think now I want to take this like a little bit more twisted, a little twisted in that corner. I'm a bit twisted, as are we all, I feel like. All right. So now, crop a dial dropping it with the dial. There we go. I know this is popping up a little. Let me just um, take this down. A little Tombow mono adhesive for you. There we go. And wha-bam! There is my currently page for August. I am sort of in love with it. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye!